<laughs> Every animal brought to Wild Heart Ranch, no matter how big or small, comes with a story. However, the one involving a beaver kit. I gotta admit, I was attached to him from day one. Is especially little... touching to longtime director Annette King. My philosophy is we all suffer the same. The orphan came into her care after someone found it trapped in a boat slip, somehow still keeping its tiny head above water after three days. He was exhausted, he was dehydrated, he was starving. His ability to fight after all that earned him a fitting name. His name is Rocky, you know, it was either that or Michael Phelps. She shared a video on the Wild Heart Ranch Facebook page of her husband feeding Rocky with a bottle. As you might notice, He's on the bottle now instead of the syringe. The video racked up hundreds of thousands of views in a matter of hours. We were all kind of on pins and needles together to see if this baby was going to win the fight, and he did. King says it's unusual to take in a lone beaver kit this late in the year, so his isolation would have affected his chances of ever returning to the wild. Rocky knows no other life than captive, spoiling, interaction with people, no friends. His friends are stuffed animals. The pampering is now no problem. Wildheart got a call from the Oklahoma Aquarium. The group gave the aquarium to Beaver about a decade ago, and one of them recently died. It is unfortunate, but the bright side is that we do have this wonderful partnership for animals that may not be able to go into the wild, that they can come here. Executive Director Terry Bauer says Rocky will soon call the aquarium his home. It may be a while before we actually see him on exhibit, but that, again, is because we're taking good care and being safe. This is a white sweet potato. He loves sweet potatoes right now. King now hopes people will even find inspiration from Rocky, whose story proves that things can end much better than they began. If he can do it, we can too. We can all make something of ourselves and get by. From Rogers County, Will Dupree, two works for you.